Hey, how's it going? So this is a uh, devlog number five for NHL 94 versus machine learning project. So it's been uh, already one month. I didn't post an update. Um, I don't have much to say today, but since it's been that long, I still wanted to show some stuff. So as you remember, uh, I think a uh, last update or last few updates, I said I would post uh, the source code online. So there you go. So you can find it on my GitHub. I put the link in the description down below. Uh, so you can use it to train models on Ubuntu. Uh, still doesn't work on Windows, uh, so I have some issues to fix. And uh, you can try training models, but you see it's going to take a long time, uh, many weeks until you want you get you know results that maybe um, goes towards what you want uh, or not. So. Um, and speaking of that, uh, this is becoming a big issue because one of the goal of the project is to uh, eventually support AI versus AI contests, uh, either over the network or locally. And uh, so if it takes weeks to train a model just to uh, reach a minimum performance, then the contest will be about who has the access to the biggest compute power. And this is not really interesting. So I want to extend the, the the possible solutions to to uh, more lightweight solutions uh, like uh, using MLP, so multi-layer perceptron, where you just feed the data directly instead of the image. So basically, you feed the player position, the puck, goalie position, etc., and uh, that's going to make the, the training much faster instead of training on a, on an image. Of course, that means it's less elegant because you have to uh, to extract you have to extract all these uh, values from RAM. Well, that's what uh, you know, a gym retro from OpenAI does, and uh, but you still need to find those values and to uh, to process those values and then feed it to a known, uh, to the MLP. So it's less elegant, uh, but uh, it's much more uh, lightweight. And actually, I think the OpenAI's Dota contest, I think, and uh, probably the StarCraft contest from DeepMind, uh, they don't. If I'm not mistaken, they don't feed the image directly. They they uh, they extract. They get they they have access to the to the game data directly. So uh, even then, they're they're using uh, uh, using the data directly. So I I was thinking for a simple game like NHL '94 that maybe you could get away with it if you down simple to '84 by '84. But for now, it seems that uh, it seems not. So we're gonna use a, a data directly to uh, and feed it to MLP. Uh, people that still have access to ginormous amount of com computing power can still use image base. I won't uh, remove it. Um, also, the other component is hard-coded AI. So this is sort of to serve as a baseline and uh, also help train the models because you can make different levels of hard-coded AI. Uh, and uh, try to practice, make the model practice different um, different strategies. And uh, so it can be helpful for that. But also in the long term, I think that the, the best solution is going to gravitate towards like a mix of hard-coded AI and uh, models. So for example, uh, you can use uh, you know hard-coded AI to chase the puck. But once you have the puck, uh, to know uh, how to feign the goalie, probably uh, you will want to use um, a model or uh, how to uh, predict where the, the open end will go. Uh, probably you want to use a model, uh, things like that. So so the next steps uh, is going to be, I am already started since yesterday, is uh, making a hardcore AI that is good enough to beat the, the game. And after gradually uh, integrating, uh, doing one that is fully model-based, and after doing one with uh, that's that's uh, using a, a hybrid approach, uh, using hard coded and models uh, together. So, but so the, the short term plan is with the hard coded AI first, and uh, using um, state machine. So I can give you an example like uh, what I did um, since yesterday. So it's very hacky. It's uh, as we know this is like some sort of uh, state transition. So I could have done this in a more elegant way, but I just wanted to have something that works uh, for the video. But eventually, it's gonna it's gonna be um, you know a simple state machine.
Okay, so if you see the log here, so once he has the puck, he tries to aim for a shoot position and then shoots. The shoot position is, uh, is actually here. So if you, in the constants, I, I just put one shoot position just to make it work. Obviously, you're going to have multiple ones eventually, and then you're going to be, be able to select randomly from it. Oh, no, this is the wrong window. Okay, so the goalie can pass the player and shoot multiple times. So it's kind of okay at chasing the puck. Uh, basically, I just calculate the vector where the, the he needs to go and then press the right buttons on the controller. Uh, but to improve that, obviously, is that like Wayne, the famous quote from Wayne Gretzky, uh, you should not go where the puck is, but you should go where the puck is going. So basically, I should target instead of targeting the puck, I should target a projection of where the puck is going or where the player is chasing is going. The other improvements, like I said, is like adding multiple shoot positions and uh, eventually being able to navigate between different shoot positions to feint the goalie so going from left to right or right to left I almost scored a goal there but no so it's quite good at getting the puck compared to the, the model like, we trained uh, beforehand. Uh, still a bug with the goalie, doesn't pass uh, the puck on time. Okay, so the pair is almost over. So that's it. Uh, so I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna continue improving the, um, the hard-coded AI, and I'm gonna post a video on that, and after I'm gonna start training models of MLPs. Uh, the MLP is not is still not working. There, you can see some code where I, I begin uh, working on it, uh, but it's uh, absolutely non-functional. Uh, so, um, you know, don't bother uh, uh, trying and losing your time with it. It doesn't work. But the CNN one is working. So thank you. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. See you next time.